It's not. Chandler, look at them for one second, please. <laughs> I've seen them before. I know what they look like. Milan is better. How can you say that? Simplicity rules, you know that. The flat iron's a marvel. The flat iron is a sore thumb. Uh, you're ridiculous. When are you gonna come around? Never. <laughs> Did you finish the tent? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Good. Meeting at 9 a.m. Monday morning. You're free to go. It's 3.30. Why does he get paid the big bucks to have us design tents? I don't know. Why do we always wait till 3.30 to eat lunch? That's a good point. At least it's payday. I started my internship as an architect about five months ago. And I love it. It doesn't pay much, but I get along all right. I set some aside every payday. Most nights I just eat ramen and study blueprints, but tonight's different. Every few months I save enough to do something, well, out of the ordinary. Don't get me wrong, I'm right where I want to be in life. My dream job, good health, security, a bright future ahead of me. But sometimes I just need something more. I know it doesn't make sense, but it's a tension I can't seem to overcome. So, for one night, I play the part that everyone seems to want to play. Maybe I'm trying to meet a need that can never be met. Do I think it's working? I can never really tell. Are you on your way? That's fine. I'll find another ride. I think you dropped this. Oh, thanks. Just keep it. You sure? Yeah, it's just a quarter. Hey, I overheard you talking. Do you need me to call you a cab? Oh, no. I'm fine. But thanks, though. <laughs> hey. Do you... Would you want to have dinner with me? What? Do you want to have dinner with me? There's this new restaurant? We don't even know each other. Doesn't matter. And you kind of look like you're going somewhere. Yeah, but I'm not. Really? Yeah, I was going to go to the restaurant down the street. I walked by and there you were. And you don't have a ride. It's a win-win situation. The restaurant is a block away. I'm in jeans and you're in a suit. Doesn't matter. I'm not a fan of upscale restaurants anyway. Fair enough. I know a place that's even better. And trust me, it's different. I'm Chandler Towers. Marion. Same here. And we'll take whatever the chef recommends tonight. Yeah, you're rich. Can't really deny that at this point. So what do you do, Marion? I'm a children's librarian. Do you like it? I love it. The kids, the books. In that order? I wouldn't want the books without the kids. Is it something you've always wanted to do? Yeah, kind of. What does that mean? It's kind of complicated. Well, I like complicated things. Aren't you asking a lot for a first date? On trains? Thank you. Thank you. So this is a date. We're eating dinner on a roof. Fair enough. So what do you do? I'm in banking. Do you like it? I really do. Is it complicated? What? Well, I'm not sharing my complications with you, unless you have some to exchange. I'll think of something but you have to go first. Fine. My parents are rich. My whole family is rich. 
I grew up very well off. Ever since I was a little girl, my parents always wanted me to follow in their footsteps and uphold the family name. What did they do? They're lawyers. Very powerful lawyers. So powerful that it would look ridiculous if their oldest daughter would become nothing more than a children's librarian. Which is what you've always wanted to do. I love my parents. I always have. And I want to please them, and, and they knew that. But... But? They used that against me. They even tried to convince me that I wanted to go to law school. When I realized what they were doing, I refused to go. Instead, I majored in children's literature and got my master's in library science. I loved every minute of it. And here I am. Wow. <laughs> Dramatic enough for you? That will do. <laughs> but can you match it? I'll do my best. So, what exactly do you do that allows you to eat meals like this? I'm actually the owner of Williams Bank and Trust downtown. Really? At 25? My father founded the bank here in Baltimore and just recently handed the ownership over to me. Your dad can't be that old. Yeah, he's only 55, but he's in poor health. He tried to hold on to it, but he couldn't. Well, are you glad? Yeah. It's a job. I'm only 25. It's security. And it pays well. So did you always plan on taking it over? Yeah, I kind of fell in love with the place when I was young. My dad would take me into the office and I would watch him work and interact with people. I started liking my job the same way. The library became an escape from my home environment. Did your parents fight or something? No, they were fine. It was just the wealth of everything. I wanted to feel normal, so I went to the library and just read all day. Why didn't you like the wealth? Most people would like to be that comfortable. It's not really the wealth itself that I didn't like. It was just the mindset that my parents had. They used their accomplishments as an excuse to not really live. What do you mean? Don't they love what they do? No. They love the feeling that they get at the end of each day, but they've never really loved what they do. Do you have to? Sometimes you just make lemonade, right? Yeah, but you should fight past that. Fight past it to what? A purpose. Sometimes it's hard to find, even in places where you think it'd be obvious. Like being rich? Like being rich. I used to just sit and watch my parents. I wanted to be like them, but I didn't know why. I looked and looked for a reason, and I never found one. You condemn them for not having a purpose? Yes. I've been on a lot of dates with rich guys Chandler, and I'm always disappointed in the same way. So much work, so many accomplishments, and for what? It's so futile. Futile? Accomplishment isn't futile. It's fulfilling. It's hard work. Yeah, it's hard work, but what's your end? My end is working hard. That's not an end. That's a means. Well, then, maybe some people don't need an end. The means is enough sometimes. Do you love banking, Chandler? Do you love it? Okay, Mr. Towers, last question. If you could only give me one reason to let you do your internship here, what would it be? I don't need to work here. I want to work here. There's nowhere else I'd rather be. There's nowhere else I'd rather be. I had a nice time. Me too. Do you always share your complications with total strangers? 
it's nice to try something new sometimes. Sure you're gonna make it home okay? I think so. been? I ran into a friend. She took me out for dinner and then she dropped me off. Are those hand-me-downs? Yeah. Emily gave them to me. I thought they were cute. You're weird. Yeah. There was an article about you in the newspaper today. Really? Not everyone wins their first case, even if it was a small one. Dad was happy. I'm sure he was. Now all you need to do is get married. I don't think that'll ever happen. No kidding, you're too picky. You want someone who's normal. Not normal, just purposeful. What does that mean? I want someone who does more than just make accomplishments in life. Someone who loves what he does, even if it means he's poor. I could love someone like that. Not like the guys we always meet. Too rich for their own good. Busy making meaningless accomplishments. I could never love a guy like that. Even if he does rescue girls on the side of the road. I had to play the part. <laughs>